In this video, I want to show you how you can add and authenticate your email sending domains so you can be spam compliant across the web. Now, the ESPs of the world or the email service providers like Yahoo's, Gmail's, Outlook, and, and so on, they do look at your email signatures or domain signatures to see if wherever you're sending emails from are authorized to send on your behalf. Otherwise, anybody can pretend that they're sending emails on your behalf, right? That's not a good practice. So with that, you have to add a couple of records on your domain side of things. Now for that step, you need login to your DNS authority. In this case, I'm using Cloudflare, but you might be using GoDaddy, uh, Bluehost, or any third party to manage your DNS. Once you do that, you can go to your top right dropdown, click on settings, and choose your domain sender verification. Okay. Now what you have to do here is click on add sender and now put in your domain. I do have an example. So I have leadbuffer.com. Now you can add subdomains as well, which some companies do if they have high sending volume. So if you're sending hundreds of thousands of emails and you want to separate transactional to be sent from your root, and everything marketing to be sent from a subdomain such as marketing dot or perhaps send dot you can certainly follow that structure but it comes in once you have a high sending volume in this case I'm simply gonna add my main domain and now you're gonna see in the back there are three records that I would like to set up the record number one is called SPF it's almost like your main ID like a driver license DKIM is your passport and the DMARC policy although it's not a native record to VBOUT it's actually something that you might find useful in general sending out emails it's your own policy on how you accept emails from the world and I'm gonna dive a little deeper into this I also have a full documentation on it if you'd like to find out now in terms of the SPF I'm gonna click on settings it's showing me the record that I need to add. Now, this is composed of three different elements. Anything in the DNS world has three things. One of them is going to be the type of element or DNS. Is it the XT record? The host name itself, this is the root. If I added marketing.leadbuffer.com, this would have been probably marketing.leadbuffer.com. And then the value that you need to add. One thing to note on SPF, which is quite important, if you already have a record in SPF, don't add a new one. All you need to do is just find out what that SPF record, okay, then that's really important. Click edit and then modify the value here. In this case, I already added the Spark post. So I will go ahead and save that, go back to VBout and verify it. So that's, that's pretty much done. The second record is DKIM. DKIM is really uh, almost like a signature or a password for your sending. So you gotta be careful not to display it. I'm gonna do this in this demo. Although if you're working publicly, make sure you hide that. I'm gonna click on settings, copy the host name. All I need to do is click on it. Go back to VBout and click on add record, TXT value paste that now I want you to know the appended root domain is done by default from VBout because this varies between different DNS records Cloudflare is not a problem they will automatically kind of remove additional parts of it uh, but some systems like um, I believe GoDaddy might just create long term so all you need to do is remove that part and keep the first part of it okay so I remove the leadbuffer.com. I'm going to click on the record and then paste it right in here. And that's it. I will go ahead and save. And note something important. DKIM, you can have multiple record added to the system. It doesn't have to be just unique. SPF is, uh, is what needs to be unique. Okay. Now, on this case, I will go back to VBout cancel and click verify sometimes it might take up to 24 hours now I've seen this get better throughout the years 
um, within seconds in this case, especially that Cloudflare is pretty quick. It gets verified almost instantly. Now here's a DMARC policy. And again, guys, this is not VBOT specific. You can literally set this up um, with VBOT or with any provider that you're using. The way DMARC works is that you have a certain policy that says, if someone sending me an email, at LeadPuffer, I want to quarantine them or reject them if the sender looks fishy. That's pretty much all it is. If you do none, that's going to be very lenient. Quarantine might be a better option. And you might be getting some daily reports, unreadable reports as a disclaimer, that's telling you throughout the day you've gotten X amount of emails and these emails don't look good, blah, 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 right? So in this case, choose an email that you can use filtering on. It could be an alias or you can set up some rules that every time you see something coming with a DMARC in the subject line, add it to this folder. I do this all the time. And that's it. It's verified. Now there is a new record called Be Me Record. If you'd like to find out about that, that's literally um, a new addition to uh, the email world. And all it does is just adds to your domain or to your subject line. Let me show you right here. So if you have your emails, you might not see your logo next to your brand. The Be Me record, B-I-M-M-I, adds your logo to the record. I also have a full documentation on this. It's not necessary or requirement whatsoever, but it helps your branding and it helps with authentication. Okay, It is also a TXT record that looks something like this, TXT. It has a default dot underscore be me. Now I geek out on these things, guys. So please, um, if you, <laughs> you don't have to memorize this, you can certainly look this up in our documentation. And then you can put in the whole value and the link to your um, logo. It has to be in SVG format over HTTPS. And these are the records that you need to set up. The DKIM and SPF are required. The DMARC is optional, but highly recommended. The BB is an extra, but also is becoming highly recommended. This is it.